Hi folks, welcome to Cloud Sprint. Today's video is about cloud billing concepts. Cloud billing is a very, very important topic for this exam. And uh, you might expect two to three questions from this particular area or maybe more depends on your set what you get during exam. You may check out other videos in this playlist to pass this exam. Topic for today is cloud billing concepts. I've already built a resource hierarchy in our earlier videos where we have an organization, billing account, payment profile, folder, within folder we have projects. This is we have already done. Today we are going to mainly focus on payment profile and billing account. That's the main major area we want to understand because most of the things we have already covered. The difference between payment profile and Google Cloud billing account is that this is a Google level resource managed payment method, which can be connected to all Google services. However, this cloud billing account is only for the GCP projects, uh, wherever it is attached to GCP project resources. You can link a billing account to a project and that invoice will be generated every month. Yeah. You can see here, uh, payment profile is uh, on a Google level resource and billing account is a cloud level resource. You can also have multiple billing accounts because suppose you want to separate the workloads like finance should pay for their projects, IT should pay for their projects. So you can have separate billing accounts for all the teams and you can have a parent billing account which is connected to the your major payment profile which is done at the Google level. From the exam perspective, roles are really important. First is domain, organization, roles, folders, projects, projects, folders which we have already covered. Today we are gonna talk about these two things. These two roles are very important, which is billing account admin. This billing account admin can enable billing, export, view costs, set budgets, alerts. We'll see all of these in today's videos. Then we have billing user. This user can just link projects to cloud billing account, but cannot unlink them. It is usually issued broadly in concern with a project creator role. So when creating a project, you need to connect to a billing account, then only this will get activated. So billing user is that role. Then we come to payment profile, which is again at the Google level or global. In fact, beyond org level, you can have multiple organizations within a uh, payment profile. Payment profile admin can view and manage payment methods, make payments, view invoices, and payment accounts. Let's go ahead and see this in action, that how we, how we use all billing actions, how we export the data, how we build reports around it. Let's go. First of all, we'll go ahead and choose billing from the menu. You see, when you click billing, it is asking you to go to link billing account or it will ask you to go to billing account because I have linked my earlier billing account with this account as well. It is asking me to go to link billing account. Very important concept. There is no project or organization here because you can have one billing account attached to multiple organizations or to multiple projects. That's the very important part. Let's go ahead and check the menu one by one. First is reports. When you click on reports, this is a kind of uh, report you'll get that you can find out how much your users are costing to the company or you want to find out how many uh, what is the dollars you're investing on your uh, cloud migration role okay this is your uh, graph area you can save a view for later also you can check that uh, how which billing account you're looking for you can select the date range I'm selecting last month and all projects. You can see a 139 rupees is, uh, you know, bill is for DevOps dash dev project because I did uh, use this project extensively for this thing. I am removing promotions just to show you this is how graph will be plotted. You can see that how many projects you are. You know, this is about organization and folder. These folders we have created during our organization video it is coming here all projects whatever we have available now it is coming in this projects uh, drop down list data science dev pro data use dev the rest of them i have deleted for various reasons now this is a, a graph plotted area you want to just check that how much uh, suppose uh, cloud compute engine have costed you you can see 139 become 126 rupees which means you have just 
used 126 rupees on VM, you want to check networking. Networking, you have just used 13 rupees. You, you have to pay for network as well while you transfer data from one place to another. All projects is like all available projects. Then service wise also, you can find out how much you are paying for storage, or how much for logging. This is a place where you can filter the cost. That's the major uh, area you need to know because when you work, you have you'll be asked to you know find out how much this particular job or this particular cluster have costed. This is a dashboard which will help you to find out that you can have uh, cumulative results, also a line bar, multiple projects. If you have more than one projects, you will be having multiple data. You might need tabular data as well. So this you go to cost table. Again, same report will be here, but this will be more in the tabular format because you might need it for Excel. You can just export that data and put it in Excel for some of your reports. That's the uh, that's why this cost table is there. Same options are here as well. You can um, you know, just filter and get the right data. Cost breakdown will tell you that what are the promotions, uh, benefit, promotional benefit you got. Because since I'm using my trial account, I just have everything free till $300. So you can see this 139 rupees was costed, but the actual amount is zero because I got the promotion. So this credit thing is the promotions. Everything is free. Uh, you can also see what was the percentage of promotions you get. Very important part again is really creating a budget. You don't want to uh, get surprised by a bill. For that, what we'll do, we'll create an alert for budget. We'll suggest a notification time range could be monthly so whenever there is a monthly threshold hit just let me know i want to set it for all projects all services yeah discounted b you can have two things either through the last month but for me ten thousand rupees is my monthly budget if i exceed that ten thousand rupees i want to know okay i, I might more uh, stop using cloud so let, let me put that money next. Actions. Whenever this 50% budget is achieved, 5,000 rupees, I should get a trigger. So now I'm aware that I don't have to use very extensively. And then the 90% and then 100%. I want a email alerts to all billing admins. These are options also there, but we'll cover it later. Click on finish. This will create a, an alert for me. Now suppose if you want to edit it, you can just click on that. Uh, hyperlink this will take you again to the edit window you can change the name change frequency change the projects or the services also if you want to change the threshold which we just set you can change that as well so I'm just for the purpose selecting all the projects which is by default selected now I'll come down can I can change the target amount also percentage if you want to know 30% but this is the best practice like 50 90 100 is the best practice you can update it and whenever you cross the threshold you'll get it an alert that's the how you configure it next part is billing export whatever billing data you are generated generating every day you need to export it somewhere when you export it to big query data sets you can write your customized queries around it and you may also uh, to create a very beautiful dashboard using looker which will which can be distributed to your uh, entire organization and everybody can check how much they are costing money file export was earlier option but it is deprecated now only it is possible with uh, bigquery how are we going to configure it uh, it's very easy uh, first of all you need to select the project the best practice is that you need to have a separate uh, project for your storing and billing we'll go ahead and just create a, a separate project for this Okay, let me go ahead, uh, go to resources, new project. The project name should be billing. Let me write billing for this. So billing is the name of the project. I need to select my billing account, which is my billing account, the name of that account or location will be that. Hit create. It will create a project called billing for me. I'll again, I'll wait for this to be created. Once it is created, I'll go back to my uh, export window and I'll refresh it and see that if it is loading. Yes, you can see that billing project is uh, available here. I'll select the billing. 
Now I need to create a data set. Data set is kind of a database for big queries which will help you to uh, create tables inside it and store your data. I'll say that uh, database ID is billing dash export. And then you have data location, you can select as uh, relevant to you. Uh, there's no dash, it's not allowed. Let me create, click on create data set. This will create a data set where this will be automatically exported. I'll select the billing export, hit it create. This will create a data set for me and uh, you know set that sync every night. So first is standard uses cost. Standard use is basically just around the minimal information of uh, uh, just uh, billing um, uh, report. Detail use export, basically it uh, analyzes cost of the resource level and identify specific resources that might be driving up the cost. So I'll also set up the detailed uh, uses report. Again, that's how we can see that when you come to the BigQuery in the billing project, you can see in BigQuery there is a data set created billing export. So every night what GCP will do, all Google Cloud, uh, your cost will be exported to this data set you can run your SQL queries. You can be uh, you know, expert of uh, SQL or you somebody is, uh, need to be to get create customized queries. Like that the dashboard which we saw might not be solving your uh, uh, purpose. You can have your customized uh, queries, right? That's how you export it to BigQuery in just a few clicks. Right? That's also, again, one of the key feature of uh, GCP billing. You uh, export things here, run things over here, right? Now, uh, yeah, we saw reports. So there are two ways to do it. You can uh, check your bills here, or you can go to BigQuery and check your bills here by running few queries. The third option is Looker. Initially, it was called Data Studio, but it is like rebranded and merged with Looker. Looker is a, a you know bi tool which helps you to create beautiful dashboards okay you can and, and bigquery can the data which you just exported can be your uh, data uh, data source so you will read the data from there create a beautiful dashboards something like this on data studio looker and uh, hand over that to your uh, teams yeah these three ways you can see it see them now let's next point i want to talk about these roles these roles are really important for the uh, exam perspective you need to know what billing account creator can do at what level what an administrator can do at what level you will get questions around these four or five roles and you you must review them before you go for the exam uh, what about billing account viewer what is a user can do because these will be all use case based questions that how, what, in which situation, which role you will be providing. Make sure that you go through this particular uh, documentation before you go for the exams. All right. This is uh, all sort of uh, possibilities. What you need to do around billing account and billing account uh, management. All right. Okay. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and click on billing. I want to click on manage billing accounts. Why? Because suppose I want to change a project's billing account to some other billing account. Suppose I have multiple billing accounts. So I'll click on my projects. In my projects, I'll go to actions. In here, I can change the billing account. I can disable the billing account. I can lock the billing accounts, right? I'll click on change billing. I don't have multiple billing accounts. If I have, I'll be, uh, I can choose from uh, one of the uh, available option and that's how you can disable the billing and log the billing as well so you don't you can stop everybody to use uh, that particular project that's how you uh, you know manage billing at an org level hope you like the video consider subscribing to the channel thanks thanks very much for your time